This is a quick video about Corsair and some of their RGB fans. We've run into a few issues with this and I kind of want to do a quick recording about this because it's something that if I ran into it, maybe other people have also run into the same issue. Basically, I have two different Corsair fans. The Corsair fans were originally in a case that were a little older, so we did have an older fan versus a newer fan. I thought that we could just transfer that over to the new one with no issue. The problem we're running into is that whenever we put it onto the new controller, we get nothing. It doesn't work at all. We use the old controller, it works with the old fans, but when we plug the new fans into the old controller, it doesn't work at all. Same thing the other way. Like in other words, if we plug in the old fans into the new controller, it doesn't work. Four pin connectors, and it's still the same looking like RGB hub. There's just a little difference, and I think that is the big problem. They're just not compatible. I've looked on Corsair's site and there are some areas that kind of address a little bit of this issue, but so I'm gonna show you a quick example of what I'm talking about here between the two different types of fans. And if you're looking to upgrade your system, you're going to, if you have Corsair fans and you have RGB and you want them to actually still work, you will need to change all of your fans to the newer edition. Just to give you an example of what's going on here, I've got a few things set up. I've got, this is the new fan controller. This is the old fan controller. This is an old fan. So right now I've got it con connected to the old fan controller with power. This is just a temporary connection here just to show you that it's being powered. So we're gonna power that on. And with the old controller, it lights up. There's no problem, it works fine. But now we're gonna flip it over to the new controller, so I'm gonna flip this off, unplug this, and put it into number spot one, just the same one, just to be sure. Flip it on, and we get nothing. Now, I've got this connected to a USB connection just in case over there, just to see if it's doing anything else. It's not doing anything else. It is just literally dead in the water. So sometimes I've gotten this to light up um, on the new controller and it blinks for like a quick second and then it unblinks and it stays off like this way that it is now. Why I'm annoyed is because they're both the same connected power. If you look, there's the same type of connector here. This is the same four pin connection as the newer fan because it obviously plugs into the new controller as well. So something internally must have changed here uh, on how this is wired or how this is connecting. So this kind of sucks. I, I have to admit that this is, how can we be okay with just tossing a whole bunch of fans that basically had nothing really wrong with them? Now, in this case, the customer was upgrading from three fans to six fans. That's what this controller maxes out at is six fans. So they bought three of the old ones, which they already had, and then they bought three new ones, and this is what we have. Three worked, three didn't work. The fan still works, it's just the color doesn't work. Now, to somebody like me, I probably wouldn't care too much. You know, if it's in a system that I'm not looking at, it probably doesn't matter too much. But obviously the customer bought it for the RGB because it looks really nice. The, the, the Corsair fans do have a very nice looking um, color profile to them and sequence and stuff like that. So the sad point is they had to buy a whole nother set of three more added on fans. This adds a lot of cost because these fans aren't cheap. These fans range, I think $20 almost, I think per or $20 for a set of three. I have to double check, but they're pretty expensive. This, this is not a cheap fan. Um, I think um, I think this could have been done better. I think this that would you know now we're gonna have to basically tell the customer to buy three more fans, which they're okay with, by the way. All right, you know they're okay because they they're spending money on something that's very pretty looking, and that's basically what they we know that they're they're okay with spending some extra money on this. That's not the big deal. The big deal I have is that it's not really documented very well. I'm not sure if they've changed their documentation since this video, um, but I'm hoping that they do. Maybe they give a little better explanation that the old fans will not work with the new fans 
and that if you buy a new fan controller, you need to be sure that you're buying all brand new fans and they all match with the same serial, like the same model number fan. That being said, if this really, uh, if you've run into this, uh, please let me know. Let, com comment below. Maybe I'm doing something wrong also. If, and of course, Air watches this video, which would be a miracle. But if they're watching this video, just realize like I, maybe I've done something wrong. I mean, I'm not an RGB genius here. I am just literally thinking it should plug in and it should work. Unless maybe there's an older version of the firmware or something for the, for the uh, new controller. Or is there something that I can update? I don't think this has firmware. I assume that this is just literally, you know, just connectors on the end here. I doubt this fan has firmware, but I didn't really check um, nowadays if everything has firmware. So what I'm looking at right now is basically how do we solve this going in the future besides buying all new fans? Or can we still get the old fans? Because I really had a hard time trying to find the old fans. Uh, the old fans on the old... Oh, there we go. This old controller, I cannot find the fans for this older controller. So that's another issue. I would have just been better off selling them the older kit at that point because they already had this one and they were okay with this. All right, well, sound off in the comments below. If you run into this problem, if you've tried and solved it a different way, and uh, if you have, I would love to know because I ended up the, the going the easy route, which was just going to new all new fans for the customer. So let me know. Uh, and until then, we will see you in the next one.